This video shows how an innocent boy was murdered in Islam. We will begin by seeing how Moses met with Akadi as recorded in Surah chapter 18 verse 65 to 66 of the Quran. Let's read. And he found a servant from among our servants, that is Akadi, to whom we had given mercy from us and had taught him from us a certain knowledge. Moses said to him, May I follow you on the condition that you teach me from what you have been taught of sound judgment? Now, it is clear from this verse that this man, Akedi, is a prophet of Allah and that Allah blessed him with so much knowledge and mercy that even Moses wanted to follow him and learn from him. You can see that this Akedi is a prophet of Allah, not just an ordinary man. I'm saying this so Muslim won't say this man was an unbeliever. No, this man was not an unbeliever. He was a prophet of Allah. In previous verse, verse 65, Allah said he gave this prophet mercy and knowledge, meaning he had a special gift of mercy and knowledge. While Moses is following this prophet, Akedi sees a young boy and kills him. Upon killing this young boy, Moses asked the prophet why he had killed him, and Akedi answered, I told you that you might not be able to put up with me. This story actually begins from verse 74. Let's read. Surah 18, chapter 74. So, they set out until when they met a boy. He, that is Akedi, killed him. Moses said, Have you killed a pure soul for other than having killed a soul? You have certainly done a deplorable thing. This same story continues, but Let's read verse 80. You will see what the prophet Akidi said was the reason for killing the innocent boy. Surah chapter 18 verse 80. And as for the boy, his parents were believers and we feared that he would overburden them by transgression and disbelief. When we read the Hadith Sa'i Muslim book 33 Hadith 6434, we see how this story was interpreted. Let's read it. Narrated by Ubay bin Kabar. Ubay bin Kabar reported that Allah Messenger, may peace be upon him, said, This young man whom Kadi killed was a non-believer by his very nature, and had he survived, he would have involved his parents in deviance and unbelief. Did you really hear what the prophet of Allah said? <laughs> Let's study this story and see what is wrong. First of all, this innocent boy had done nothing wrong and both prophets, that is Moses and Akidi, agreed that this boy was innocent. So why kill him? You heard what Muhammad said was the reason the innocent boy was killed, because he would have involved his parents in unbelief. Really? How can you judge someone for a crime he hasn't done yet? This boy has not committed the crime yet. He was just a child for crying out loud. He doesn't even know what he did. In verse 80, Prophet Akidi said he was afraid that the boy would turn his parents into unbelievers. This prophet was not even sure if the boy would become an apostate and also turn his parents into apostates. This dude who was supposed to be a prophet was not even sure but he still went ahead and killed the innocent boy. If this is the case and Allah is actually telling a true story then there are numerous children from Muslim parents growing up, later becoming an atheist or an unbeliever, which is a great insult to their parents. But this same Allah doesn't cause the death of these children before they grow up to become atheists or unbeliever. Why is it just this innocent boy? Even looking at the way this innocent boy was killed by the prophet Akedi was so evil. When you read the interpretation of verse 74 by Ajal Lane. Let's read what Ajal Lane says. So, they set off after leaving the sheep, making their way on foot, until when they met a boy who had not yet reached puberty, playing with other boys, among whom his face was the fairest. And he, that is Akidi, slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while he lay down, or by tearing his head off with his hand, or by smashing his head against a wall, all of which are different opinions. He, that is Moses, said to him, Have you slain an innocent soul, that is a pure one that had not reached the age of legal responsibility? 
So a variant reading for Zakia as Zakia, one slain, not not in retaliation for another soul. In other words, one that has not slain any soul. Verily, you have committed a dreadful thing. So read Nukran, read Nukran or Nukaran. This is to say an abomination. So this is the interpretation by Ajalalin. How could someone claiming to be a prophet of God be so evil and kill in such a way, especially playing with his body parts? He is just a boy for crying out loud. He is not even an adult. The prophet was not even seeking revenge. So what was the point of beheading and smashing his head against the wall? There is no point. Finally, when you look at this story, you can see that this is just a fairy tale story that shows the ugly side of Islam. How can you kill someone for doing no wrong? just because you are afraid he might do something wrong in the future. If this story is indeed true, then Allah might as well just kill all mankind before we get older, because all mankind is guilty of sin. Therefore, this proves that either this is a man-made fairy tale story by Muhammad or Islam and Allah is the most corrupt and evil thing ever to happen to humanity, because Allah himself didn't even condemn this act of killing the innocent boy.